random. C- come. Yeah. What's up everybody, welcome back to my laboratory where safety is number one priority. By the way, this is a contest entry to a Grant Thompson video. Go check out his videos. You can even make a weapon from a bottle. Cut it like this, then grab a balloon, cut balloon like this, stick it in like that and put it over. Then grab a rubber band and put it over. So and then it's pretty much ready to shoot. And this part is like a guard. So whenever you stretch out and shoot, you pretty much not gonna hurt yourself. Damn, that looks like it's about to blow. This video was made in response to my good friend, the King of Random's 100,000 subscriber mark. This video will demonstrate how I turned an ordinary water bottle into a rocket. A length of one half inch diameter PVC is cut to be just shorter than the wires coming off of a replacement barbecue igniter. Being sure there is a stripped portion on the end of the wires, they are separated by a quarter inch or so and held in place with a wad of paper. The paper should be pressed into the pipe half an inch, and to permanently seal the end closed, the empty gap is filled with hot glue or epoxy. All that is left in making the launcher is to wrap several layers of duct tape around the center to prevent bottles from sliding all the way down to the end. A few drops of rubbing alcohol are poured in, the cap is replaced, and the bottle is shaken several times. This project poses a danger of minor burns, singed knuckle hair, and a fire hazard if not carefully used, and so it should not be tried at home. Hello, I'm Rob with the Bee, and this, well, this, is a water bottle. You go on holiday for two weeks, so you get back from your holiday. You defrost something from the freezer, right? Twelve hours later, you're in the emergency room, almost dead. Everything in the freezer defrosted, and you don't know this because when you get back, the power's on again and it's nice and icy in there. You're gonna need a water bottle with straight sides and about that much water in it. Then I just took some food coloring like this to make it easier to see. So we're gonna pop this in the freezer in an upright position and let it freeze. And then after a while, it'll be frozen. Then all you have to do is turn it around. And there it is, your life-saving anti-food poisoning device. If it still looks like that, your food has been frozen throughout. If it looks like that, your power is off for a little while. If it looks like that, it means everything has turned to liquid. It is completely defrosted in the time that you've been away and refrozen. You should probably throw away everything in the freezer. So, that's how a humble water bottle can save your life. Hi gang, my good friend Grant Thompson asked for a short video response about things you can do with a water bottle. So I decided to play around with water bottle rockets. Get a bottle, put some water in it, and put a plug in the opening. But leave some way to pump air into it. You then pump in air, creating a high pressure inside. And when the pressure gets too high, the plug pops out. But the water is also forced out the opening. This causes the bottle to fly in the other direction. I covered my bottle in bright red Christmas wrapping paper to make it more visible. Visible enough to see that the rocket tended to rotate wildly when it ran out of water. So I added fins and a nose cone. Now when it ran out of water, it flipped over and flew backwards. So I taped a nut and some bolts to the nose. This time it did keep on flying straight, but... Yes, that was a crashing sound. The result was this, and that ended that series of experiments. Check out my YouTube channel, Rimstar.org, for a longer version of this video, with full construction details and more details about the science involved. Thank you.
By taking some dry ice pellets, drilling a hole in the lid of a water bottle, loosely slipping a piece of one quarter inch poly tube, dropping in two small dry ice pellets, and lightly resealing the screw cap, you instantly can power a small steam engine. But first, let's review some safety warnings. Never completely seal any vessel with water and dry ice combined. Ultra high pressure can build rapidly, causing a catastrophic explosion that can cause loss of limb, permanent blindness, hearing loss, and even death. When working with dry ice, always wear proper eye protection, long sleeve clothing, and gloves, and always know when UPS is delivering a package. With responsible adult supervision, this steam engine project can safely illustrate how pressure can be converted into visible kinetic energy. I'm your host, Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos. In this video, we are going to build a trip wire trap from an old water bottle. At first you need to mark the half of the bottle. We won't need the lower part, sand down the edges. Now take a balloon and cut off the long part and tape it over the bottle. You are now able to pull it back and put a piece of wood in between it. The launcher is now armed. You need to attach some sticks. Three of them should be enough. This is gonna be the trip wire. Simply pull back both threads. This requires some force. And voila, you're done. Find a good spot and stick it in the ground. Set up the trip wire. Add some baking soda. And this is what it looks like when it goes off. Hey everyone, I thought I'd show you how water bottles are actually made. So industrially this process is called blow molding and the thing that you start with is this which is a called a preform and this is injection molded by a very large press but to convert this into a two liter soda bottle uh, you don't actually need all that much special equipment at all. I started by placing the preform into an oven at about 110 degrees centigrade and left it in there for five to ten minutes. At this point the preform is quite soft and so I took one out just to experiment with and blew it up just in free air and ended up with kind of a, an oval sort of form. And all I did to connect the air to this was just drill a hole in a standard bottle cap. Put the preform, the hot preform in there and blew it up inside the aluminum tube. And this actually worked pretty well. I ended up with two forms that are pretty close to bottles. Okay, see you next time. Bye.